I think it does deserve a lot of respect. They paved the way for us, but you know, we're doing our own thing, and we're a next generation, and you know, I'm busy. I'm throwing parties. I don't have time to think about the past. I'm gonna say these two words, and even before I say it, please just don't roll your eyes. But Lady Gaga. I'm going to say it. There, I said it. I think she's important to this conversation just because, um, just like Madonna before her, she realized the importance of nightlife. And she claims um, that she comes from gay New York club culture. Um, if you, you know, in my opinion, or speak to any of my friends, I'll tell you that's a lie because she wasn't there and we all were. Um, that said, the, the important part is whether or not it's now become part of her myth is that she felt it that important to recognize that, especially since you know her fashions and all that do come from club culture. And she's just one example. She just <coughs> happens to be a very big example right now in the world. I think having all the important elements that people don't think about and you shouldn't think about in nightlife are really important to me. And um, I guess sometimes I'm scared to even take risks because you want everything to just be perfect. But I will say that Eric Conrad, you know, he is, he did Hero, Good the Bug, and Tuesday Nights at Bay. My favorite thing that he ever said to me when I was worried and I was worried about taking rest, he's like, don't worry about it. The good thing about throwing a bad party is no one was there to remember it. <laughs> and so, I guess that's my forte. It's like the thing that I actually do is something I'm not even doing. I'm introducing people to other people. I'm an enabler. You know, I'm introducing photographers to stylists, and I'm introducing them to editors, and, you know, artists to the galleries and it's you know it's a meeting place and it's where magic um, happens and you know whether they're there to dance or they're there to network or they're there to get laid or whatever it is it, that's all fine it's that life is hedonistic and it's really easy to dismiss it as just that and um, that would be a terrible shame because there's a lot of really beautiful things that happen in a nightclub. I do believe this is supposed to be a somewhat of a moral history of night life. I've only been here five years so I don't have much more history than that. And I also think nostalgia is dangerous. I think the thing that bothers me the most is hearing people constantly saying, nightlife is dead, it's not what it used to be. Like, really? I'm here, and I'm having a great time, and so are the people who are around me, and I think there's a lot of people contributing a lot of things to New York nightlife that are important. So, um, I guess I'm just a club kid after all. So, <laughs>